All right, let's be frank, and I don't mean be a man named Frank. I mean, let's be real. Scooby-Doo, you've been watching Scooby-Doo for years since you were a wee little lad. You've been watching it since it was What's New, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, Who Are You, Scooby-Doo Goes to the Zoo and Gets a Coney Island Hot Dog with a Monkey Who Was Actually Once a Real Man. I know, I know, I know. But the fact of the matter is, if you've been watching Scooby-Doo for years, you know, you know, you know, that Scooby-Doo and Shaggy even, even though he's a man of sorts, I mean, to me, hippies aren't real people, but whatever, uh, you know, it, it, they eat a lot of food. They're junkies. People think they're on drugs. Allegedly, they're not. But they love the Scooby snacks. Even Shaggy wants to eat a Scooby snack. Shaggy doesn't shag anyone, but boy, oh boy, does he eat dog food with his dog, who talks to him, who he readily understands. There's something more to this. You might think, oh, yeah, there have been a million lame-ass fan theories about how Scooby-Doo and Shaggy are doing mushrooms in the van, and that's why Fred has that goofy freaking tie on, and Daphne, well, she's supposed to just be a clumsy neuro, but she's really not all there, or Velma, that's what I meant to say. You're distracting me, kid. Listen, punk, punk. What's really going on is Scooby-Doo, ever since Scooby-Doo was a wee little pup, before he even met Scrappy, because Scrappy hadn't existed yet, Scrappy's parents hadn't fornicated yet, and, you know, you, you know, the birds and the bees, plies and dogs, too. Scooby-Doo, since he was very, very young, he liked to eat cactus candy. He liked to say, zap. He liked to uh, wear pink dog sweaters and um he uh he went by the pronouns of rup and Rrr, which is dog slang for zur and zim now there's nothing I, i'm not i'm not here to be judgmental i'm just saying that the real reason real reason that shaggy has hair that's so long is actually very simple it's it's the uh hormones that are inside of the scooby snacks now Scooby, Scooby, it's all about self-image. If you look really, really closely and you pause the reels, you'll see that even going back into the earliest Scooby-Doo episodes of the 1960s, they were sneaking drag queen story time into the original Scooby-Doo cartoons. It, you have to freeze the frame really closely. Sometimes it's down to like one-tenth of a second. They're like, you know, like when they would go into creepy castles and mansions and stuff and there would be a coat of arms like, like a knight you know, statue, there would actually be a drag queen inside there, BBW, BBW. And if you pause the frame, you could actually see the giant ass cheeks emerging from the back plate of uh, the night statues. So what's going on there is there are hints all throughout from the original Scooby-Doo series all the way to the current ones today. And the thing is, they no longer need to hide this shit because people are cool with it. So there's really no reason for Scooby-Doo to be in the dog closet, you know, in the dog house, you know, the closet of a dog house. If they put a closet in a dog house. Now, personally, again, I'm not being judgmental. So if you choose to, if you choose to think that I, that I'm trying to cause trouble, I'm not. I'm just educating you as a cartoon historian. This is what I do for a living. I get paid to do this. Uh, I get paid in fish police comics to tell you this. Truth of the matter is that Scooby-Doo and Shaggy are, uh, there's estrogen, specifically dog estrogen in those Scooby snacks. So, you know, when Shaggy eats one of those, notice that sometimes he acts like a dog. And you might think, oh, well, you know, it's clearly, clearly for comedic effect. No, no. No, that's not it. That's not it. He is acting like a fucking dog because he's been taking dog hormones. Now, it, it doesn't matter if it's testosterone or estrogen, but think about it this way. When do they ever get aggressive? Never. 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 You never see them get aggressive, fight monsters, be really freaking brave because they're, 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 they're low T. It's really, really, really simple. Why, why do you think the why do you think the mystery machines decorate like that? Because they allowed Scooby Doo, a, a freaking dog, to design the mystery machine, so it, it really does look like a dog designed it. And um, that is why Scooby Doo and Shaggy and Shaggy, who uh, although he can't relate to Scooby on those levels, I mean you know hippies, drugs, they'll they'll do anything. 
Mm.